ISIS issuing a new Christmas threat aimed at the heart of New York City. The terror group posting this propaganda photo of Times Square, showing a Santa Claus standing next to a box of dynamite, looking over a crowd of shoppers. The threat comes nearly a year after an ISIS-linked terrorist plowed a truck into Berlin's Christmas market, killing 12 people. The market reopened for business yesterday. Let's bring in Fox News military analyst, retired four-star General Jack Keane. General, how should we respond uh, to a threat like this? Well, first of all, you know, the purpose of any terror organization is, is to instill fear and to intimidate us. And those are, that's a chilling photograph, to be sure, of a well-known place in America that everybody in this country can identify with. They also have a chilling photograph for London, Paris, and Vatican City, also indicating that something horrible is going to take, take place there. Now, I think we leave this in the hands of our intelligence service and our law enforcement, who have who've done a very good job uh, in the past in dealing with activities like this. But I think also we, we have to understand, as adults, that ISIS, even though, Sandra, you know, we've taken their territorial caliphate away from them in Iraq and in Syria, they still have a virtual caliphate. Most of their leaders, while we've killed some, their top leadership is still alive in southeastern Syria. And they still inspire followers. They direct some and they support some in carrying out these, these attacks. They're still out there. They're a dangerous organization. And we have to be, un understand who they are and what they're trying to do. But at the end of the day, go about our lives. Let's live our lives. You know, General, that's what a lot of people are probably ask, asking themselves. I mean, thousands, tens of thousands of people shopping in New York City, planning to be in Times Square, possibly for New Year's Eve, for the ball to drop. That poster, that chilling poster uh, that the terrorist group released, in the middle of it in black and white, you see that it reads, we meet at Christmas in New York soon. When I asked you how should we respond, I was asking as a country, and you referenced how authorities should respond, but how should we respond as Americans? You say, go about your daily lives, but that's, that's a well, serious I think, threat. I think we always have to be aware of our surroundings ever since 9-11, what takes place. And, and I think most people in America are like that. It doesn't mean we're not going to live our lives. They're not going to go out and recreate and enjoy family and be in public places where huge crowds gather. So our, our sports stadiums, other activities that we do, go to the theater. Those things, Americans are going to do it. I have total confidence in in the American people uh, doing that, but we're all aware of the fact that the terrorists are out there. Listen, if we had multiple attacks going off every month in this country in multiple cities, that would be another issue, but we don't have that. And we have very good intelligence services. We've got very good law enforcement agencies that have protected a number, of, prevented a number of attacks from taking place. So, yes, ISIS is out there. They've expanded into 30 countries. They were the fastest growing terrorist organization in modern history. We've taken a lot of things away from them, but we've got to stay focused on dealing with them mm -hmm. overseas. And we are doing that. And here at home, a huge responsibility for, for law enforcement. There's also a threat for New York City uh, commuter trains as well.